Okay, I guess we're still learning the Ilu Nishmas, the yard site of. Uh, yeah. I lost the picture. I don't have it anymore. Hold on one second. You have the picture? <coughs> I am Dov Ben Naftali. I am Dov Ben Naftali, Holocaust survivor, and it's Shamash Avon Aliyah. Okay, we're up to a new Perik, right? The Perik begins, Noisim ala Nusa vala mafuta. If a man goes ahead and is ma'anis a woman, he forces himself on a woman or mafuta, he talks the woman into it, he is permitted in her relatives. So if a man would go ahead, for example, be ma'anis or anisha, he can, he can go ahead and marry a daughter or a sister or her mother. The relatives, that would be us. If there was nisuin, he'd be permitted to marry if it's only anusa. However, ha'oynis from mafata ala anusa, if a man is married, then he's oinus mafata, then of course chayef. So for a mother-in-law and for, for a, a, a daughter, for a stepdaughter, he'd be chayef streifa. And for a, and for an achasishta, he'd be chayef karis. Review the oise by nusa saviv, umufuta saviv. I just skipped Adam. Nice Adam, nusa saviv, umufuta saviv. A man is kamari, nusa saviv, umufuta saviv. His father had forced himself upon a woman or spoke, talked her into it. Then the man, uh, his son, will be able to marry, be able to marry those women. Anusas Beno, Mufutas Beno, he'd be able to marry the Anusa of his son, and Mufutas Beno, we wouldn't ask her because Kalasai, we wouldn't ask her. Rabbi Huda Oyse, Anusas of him, Mufutas of it. Rabbi Huda is going to have a Pasik to say that the woman that your father had been with, whether it was by force or by consent, Mufuto, he spoke, you would be what? You would be Asa. Will be also that's machlekes the Tanakam Rebbe Yehuda. Tanina lo hadet Tanu Rabbanon. A Mishnah that says that a man can marry a nusa, uh, the nusa of a woman he was with, that he can marry the relatives. We have a brayser. The Tanu Rabbanon. Anas isha for me as manas a woman. Muta Lisa bita. She's permitted to marry the daughter. That's just like a Mishnah. Nisa isha. Not nasa isha. If he marries a woman, then also Lisa bita. That's the second end of the Mishnah. Then of course it's also to marry right, the daughter. Women will ask you a stira. Hanitan mina isha, if there's suspicion that a man was with a certain woman, asa be ima uba bita uba chaisa, he would be asa to go ahead and be involved with the ima, with his mother, the sister, and the or the, or the daughter. So, how can you tell me that what that man is permitted to marry a nusas, a nice al nusa al mufuta? You see that what you can't. Says, that's only midrabana. What are we worried about? With the raisa, there's no, there's no issa. If, if a man was forced himself upon a woman, there's no issa erva because there's no kedushin. What we're worried about is if a man was accustomed to being with a, a woman and then marries a relative, since they'll be in proximity of each other and they've been they libre gaspoi, they've been used to each other. We're worried about the possibility of a future illicit relations. So mid the they made a gazera. If you're involved with the chashad, if you're involved with a woman, you can't marry your relatives. Not because it's a din der raisa that you can't marry your relatives. It's because the chashad of the proximity that will be created, you might be involved with them. So that's the rabbanon. And I'm just speaking what the raisa. It's a lashen. The mishnah says noisin al nusas al mufuta. In other words, you a woman that you've been with. Nice and lechatchila, you can marry the relatives. But one second, if you have this chashash to rabbanon, why nice and lechatchila? You should not be able to go ahead. We should be geiser. You should be able, able to go ahead and marry them because again, the concern of being in their proximity. And for the gemara, kit hamas nisan laachamisa. Our mission had said nice and you can marry lechatchila is the woman that you had been with, right? The woman you've been with is dead. So in other words, you can marry. If you've been with a certain woman, you can marry a daughter when the woman dies because there's no proximity that you're worried about. Being involved in an erva because the erva is no longer in the world. So our Mishnah Noisin is speaking what la misa, but before misa we have the rabbanitik shad of lot of being in proximity of that certain individual that you had been accustomed to be with, and therefore we'd be worried. So our Mishnah is speaking with that individual is not there. How do you know this thing that a man is be able to marry uh, involved in anusas? A someone anusa or mafuta can go ahead and marry the relative. So it says bekulon nema shchiva. When it comes to the the Arroyas and the Pasha Arroyas, in our Pasha, in Pasha Kedoshim, it says, the Kalasai, the Dasa, Zacha, the Hema, it says the Lashon of what? Yishkav. Yishki Yishkav is Kalasai, yes, the Dasai, Yishki Yishkav Zacha, the Lashon of Shiva is used. 
Ukan Namar Kicha. And by Isha, Ima, Bekrei Vaseha, it says the Lashen of Yikach. It says Lashen of Kicha. Loim Lecha, Derech Likuchin Asra. When it's Derech Likuchin, Derech mean there is there is there is a um, there is a kedushin. Then the erva is asa. Masha enkein where it's not derek lekuchin, it's derek shchiva ma'alma. Then it would be mutar. Again, in the in parsha of Arroyas regarding women and her relatives, it says lashon kiyikach. So when there's a yikach, when there's a kedushin, then there's the Israel relatives. When there's not a yikach, there's not a kedushin. There's just anusa. Then there's not. That's the limit. Right? If a man goes ahead, if a man goes ahead and he goes ahead and he takes his sister, you're going to say, it's only asa to, if you go ahead and take derech kicha. You would be able to be with her. Obviously, you can't go ahead and be with one sister when derech shchiva. So Amalei Abaya says Abaya to her Papa, the kuchim ksivi b'tarei stam. The mission is like this. It says the place stam haroy lekicha that kedushin be typhus then kicha. Then you go after kicha. Ach haroy leshchiva that kedushin cannot be typhus like for by a chaisai. Then you, then you go after Shriva. This rule that we applied of Yikach and Shriva, it, you have to look at the situation, look at the context. If it's a context where Kedushin can be Typhus, then the Isra only comes about there of Kicha. If it's the context is where Kedushin can't be Typhus, I feel there is Shriva would be Asa. Since there's no Hechet Timsa of one marrying his sister, of course, Yikach, it's, it means Shriva. Mashain came by. Uh, the girl's mother, or so and so forth, that would be only derech kicha kedushin, kedushin, and not derech vat anusa. That's the that's the opinion of 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 uh, Abaya. Rav Ama, Rav says, here is the source for a man can marry anusas of it. And, and excuse, me, excuse me, that a man is able to go ahead and live with with uh, a woman that he bimaanis that he can live with the relatives. Here's his source. We have a steer in pesukim. One pasuk says, that if a man is honest a woman, he's mutter from here. Ksivit says, Ervas bas bincha or bas bitcha, the erva of her son, the daughter of her son, or the daughter of her daughter. In other words, this is your step, this is your step granddaughter, right? Either through her you, have, you married a woman, she has a son or a daughter, and that son or daughter have a daughter. Loisigale. So it would be us for men to be with these women, right? Now, what's the diak? Dafka har bino or har bito. Her bas bino dida of the woman, who bas bito dida, then would it be permitted? Bas bincha, meaning, I just explained it to you wrong. Bas bincha or bas bitcha, when it's yours, your granddaughter, then it's asa. Mashma, when it's their granddaughter, her granddaughter, it will be muta. Good. So a man will be us to be with his grand his granddaughter, his blood relative. What happens if it's not his blood relative? Then you would be able to be with that's that's the mashmais. However, Huxivit says Ervas Isha Ubita Loisigala as Bas Bina, our granddaughter, as Bas Bita, our granddaughter from the daughter. Loisikach, you shouldn't take. So how do you reconcile it? From the diak of the first pasik, it's mashma dafka your own blood granddaughter you're in trouble with, but not hers. And then we have a Mephorish Pasuk saying no. Elavatz Peshat HaKetzad. Khan, the first Pasuk that was speaking about yours, it's speaking Ba'ainsin. You know, it's yours, you can't take. But if hers is Ba'ainsin, you could take. And the second Pasuk, and Khan became this suin. And the second Pasuk of Isha, Ubita Leisagales, Basman of Asbita, is speaking about what? Is speaking about Lekuchin. So therefore, we have a, an inference from a Pasuk that says a man can't be with his granddaughter. Whether it's a daughter from a son or a daughter from a daughter, right? And I mashma he could be with a granddaughter from her or a grandson, a granddaughter from her. That's if the granddaughter from her or her is derech ayidei anusa. Mashen kein was derech lekuchin. The second pasuk says meforish a man can't be with his step granddaughter either way. So those are the two pesukim. We have the lashon of kicha and, and lekuchin when abaya, and we have the stira and the and the teretz according to Rava, which will go ahead and tell us the din. Let's say the opposite 
let's say derech lekuchin, you could be with her. Derech 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 what? Uh, Anusa, you would not be able to be with her. Why do you dash in the pasuk that way? It says the Gemara it doesn't make any sense. Aroya sheer ksevahu. My Aroya says lashon of share. Share is lashon relative. What creates a relative, guys? Nesuin or Anusin? Pashtus Nesuin creates a relative, right? It says the Gemara bin Nesuin yekar sheer sheer. When you get married, there is a relative. By Anusim, there is no share. By Anusim, there, there is no share. Okay. The second din of the Mishnah was uh, a man can marry Anusas of him, Mufutas of him. But Yehuda said Anusas of him, Mufutas of is not. Okay, what's the machloikis between the Tanakama and what and, and Rabbi Yehuda? Rabbi Yehuda is the Anusas of him. Amrav Gidl, Amrav, my time to Rabbi Yehuda. What's the reason Rabbi Yehuda? A man should not take his ashes of his stepmother, and he shouldn't reveal the knaf, the skirt of his father. Knaf aviv, the skirt that your father had seen, meaning anusas aviv, lo yigale. When we might have anusas I it says lo yigale. How do you know it's speaking about anusas aviv? The it says v'nasni shashayich avima lavi anayra chemishim kesef. Rabbanon, if you have a summit like the common, Hashley summit, let me boil it for an and Ramanan, and Mishmul, you should marry Yavim Shal of a custom daughter. Well, my Knafa of Knafa Roy Love. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Let me let's go uh, bring up a Pussek. Layikach ish Layikach ish as Ashes Aviv, a man shouldn't take his stepmother. Nor should he go ahead and reveal the knaf of his father. What is this speaking about? It says Rabbi Yehuda, the knaf of is speaking about Anusas Aviv. How do you know that? Look at the Pasuk before. The man will give to the father of the woman he had, girl he enforced himself upon. So this Pasuk is speaking about an Anusa, where a man forced himself. So says Rabbi Yehuda, this is defining this. This is speaking about a force. La Yigala Kanaf Aviv is speaking about a force. So therefore, La Yigala Kanaf Aviv, a man can't marry Anusas Aviv. That's the Rabbi Yehuda Darshans. Guys, you good? Why did the Chacham say? One second. It's not next to each other. It's not juxtaposed next to each other. Before the La Yigala Kanaf Aviv, you have the Pasuk La Yikach Ish Es Eishes Aviv. You have that he shouldn't take Eishes Aviv. So therefore, it's not going back on the uh, on uh, on Anusas Aviv because Anusas therefore Anusas Aviv is mutter. What's it going on? It's going on Shemeris Yavam. Okay, now we can do we can do the the, the the next part. We can do the next part. Okay. Let, now let's see the Gemara now again with that with that backdrop. Let's see the Gemara again. It's going to make a lot of sense. Um, responding to two dots. Amrav Gidl, Amrav. My time in the Rebbe Yehuda. What's the reason Rebbe Yehuda says a man cannot marry Anusa Zaviv? Yichsev, la'ikach ish es eishes Zaviv, la'yigale k'naf Aviv. K'naf shor ha'yaviv, the k'naf that your father saw, la'yigale. Umemayi divan Nusa. K'siv, how do you know it's speaking about Anusa? Yichsev me'alavei, because it says above it, v'nasa nisa shorchevim alavi anayra ha'chemishim kesef. So he juxtaposes what? The union of Anusa to that. For Rabbanon, why don't, why is the k'naf Aviv not speaking about Anusa? So if it was next to it, mamish next to it, kid I would give you, I would agree with you, Rabbi Yehuda. But Hashdle now that it's not next to it, me boy Ravanan. We need it for the dinner of Ravanan. If a, 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 a man's a man uh, aunt, actually it's his aunt. It's his it's, it's his, his his paternal, his father's brother's wife. Father's brother's wife is now the father. His uncle dies, has no children. It's also for him to be with his aunt. Why? Because she's Shemeris Yavam of the father. The Gemara is going to ask Lachera. She's also because she's an aunt. Forget about the fact that while she's Shemeris Yavam, an aunt is also us, right? Okay, but that's that's the case. Leigal Kanafav is speaking not about Anusas Aviv. Anusas Aviv is Muta. Leigal Kanafav is speaking about an aunt, a Shemeris Yavam. Well, my kanaf aviv, kanaf a roi aviv, a kanaf that's roi to the father, a kanaf that could be to the father because why? Because it's a it's a shemer siyavam lo yigala. Fredding more of a tapele mishum dasai. Why say it's us because shemer siyavam? Let's tapele it's us because why? It's his aunt. 
And for Gemara, lava love b'shnei lavim. V'yoyver what? V'yoyver two lavim. In other words, v'yoyver on shemeres yavam, v'yoyver on in. For Gemara, v'tepeglei, that's mishum yavam olishuk. There's another lav. She says yavam olishuk, and you're not allowed to marry her. Right? And for the Gemara, lava love b'shnei lavim. So three lavim. So therefore, three lavim. He by a seima la'achemisa. His father died. And once his father died, she's not sucker to you anymore. And therefore, she's mutter to the shuk. So she'd only be asa because of what? Of the right? And, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 Shemer Shavim, she had been the Shemer Shavim of the father. Okay? If you buy the same Lachemisa. So that, therefore, that's the Machloikis, how you dial it, Kanafa. Guys, you good? Okay. Take out, take out your, uh, the next piece of Gemara. Let me just you, before you take your book out, look at the first Taisvis on, on the Amid base. Achu Brihu. Kol Elu Amaisim, all the deeds what we're about to say, Lamidi, we don't hear anything. Elulit Shubis Hatsidaikim. The whole purpose of the, the next five riddles is to know to go ahead and in, to answer the Tsidaikim. Marshal speaks that the Jews are known as Zbali you Chachma. Know, the Jews are Bali Chachma, and we want to show them that all Chachma is in the Torah. So as a result, we're able to answer these riddles, right, as a result of the Torah. So these riddles are, as you'll see, they're riddles. And as you see, without the book, they're very difficult. But with the book, they should go ganz, ganz fine, okay? If you don't have the book, I'll put it on the screen. Sadokim don't have the book? That's what we're holding? That's not good. So don't, don't have the book, right? Okay. And this one I can get rid of. I want to get rid of this one. And... Okay. So here's what I am. Right. The first one. Ach me av veloy me aim. My paternal brother is not my maternal brother, for who bailed the aim, but he's my mother's husband, but no Barte didn't say, and I'm under his wife's daughter. Okay? So right, he's my paternal brother, not my maternal brother. He is the he is the my mother's husband, and I'm his wife's daughter. Good, let's see what it is. So man, Yaakov is my honest woman. He's man, he forces himself on this woman, and that's Bas Yaakov, and he has a regular son, Ruvain. Okay? Ruvain then goes ahead and marries Anusa Safiv. Ruvain marries Anusa Safiv. So what's the relationship between Yaakov and Ruvain? So watch. Bas Yaakov and Ruvain. They're paternal. They're paternal brothers because a, a, a brother and sister because they have the same father. They have different mothers, so that takes care of the Achmi Avalim and Aim, who Baila the Aim, he's the husband of the mother. And I'm the daughter of his wife. Guys, good? Good? That worked, yeah? Next. We're bringing the chips, you know, we're bringing the chips in now, you know. Got to make it smaller to see it. I know what's going on here. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully you have a book because I, I don't seem to be able to get this one on. So the next one is Okay. The next one is Achu 
The next one is Ahu, a woman says, Ahu, he's my brother. Ubrihu, and he's my son. He's my brother, he's my son. I'm the sister of this child who I carry on my shoulder. Okay, let's look inside the book. I don't, I don't, I don't, I seem to have cut it off over here. So now, Ahu Ubrihu. So an Akum has a child, a girl. The Akum then lives with his daughter and has a son. The Akum is living with the daughter and has a son. So what's the relationship between the daughter and the son? So therefore she says, he's my brother. He's also my son. I gave birth to him, right? And so there it is. That's the case. It's a partial case. I cut it off over here, but again, that this Akam will live with his, his daughter. So she's and the son at the same time, she is the it's sister. Not cut off. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the book on the screen. It's not it's not cut off to me. Oh, you know why? Because I, I you know what happened. I, I, I cut it off. I messed it up. Okay, don't don't ask. Okay, next. Okay, here we go. Okay, what are we dealing with over here? Okay, this is the next. The next one is. Shalom al-Khabri, peace to you, my son. Bas Achatechana, I'm your sister's daughter. I'm your sister's daughter. So peace to you, my son, I'm your sister's daughter. How is this? An Akam is with a woman, and they have a daughter, and that daughter has a daughter. Okay, so right now, nothing, no, nothing illicit over here, right? This is page 270. 277, right? So you have a son. Now, the Akum then is with his granddaughter. So what does the granddaughter say, right? What, what, is, what, is the, what, is, what does the granddaughter say? I'm your sister's daughter. Okay, here, this is his sister. I'm your sister's daughter, correct? I'm the sister's daughter. So she says, what does she say? My son, you are my son. This is a son, right? Her, him and her are having her. And also happens to be the sister of, right, of your daughter. The sister of your daughter. There you go. Next. The Dolly, the Dolly Davla, those who are going ahead and carrying a pail, Lipo. Let this riddle fall into the, your midst. The child that, that, this child that I carry is my son, and I am his brother's daughter. The child I'm carrying, so what? An Akum has a, a this is a granddaughter. The Akum then lives with the granddaughter. Now, so what does she say? What is the granddaughter saying? This child I have is my son. That, that's her son, right? This child I have is my son. And I'm his brother's daughter. Who's his brother? This is the brother, and I'm the brother's daughter. So there you go. I'm his brother's daughter, right? This is his brother, and this is the daughter. There you go. Okay, let's, 
another one down. Next. Bia, Bia. Okay, let me get this. She says, Bia, Bia, woe, 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 me ach vuav, because my, my brother is my father, who bal, who bar bal. My brother is my father, who is my husband, who's my husband's son, who bailo de aim, I know bar to this say, who's my brother's husband, and I'm his wife's daughter. He gives no bread to his orphan brothers. Okay, this is a very, very hard case. Let's see it. He lives with his mother. So this child is his sister and his daughter. It's his sister and his daughter. So the boy al bas. Now he goes ahead and he lives with so two ancestral relationships. He's living with the mother. And he's living with the, his, his, his daughter. He's living with his daughter. So now, this gets really interesting. And now the Zayda comes and lives with her. And they have children. He dies the assignment. So let's see the relationship over here, everything over here. We began. My brother, who's my father, he's my brother, we have the same mother, but he's my father, because he lived with the mother. Who Baal, who Bar Baal, he's my husband, right? He's my husband, not, not legally, but he's my husband, who's my husband's son. He's, he's, he's my husband's son, right? From the mother. Who bailo the aim? He's my mother's husband, right? barte de isse, and I'm his wife's daughter. Good. Now he doesn't give food to his orphaned what brothers, because if he is with her, they're, they're brothers. So that's the next case. Okay, we're getting close. Number four. Okay. The next case. Anova at Anova at you and I are what siblings. Anova at Achi, Anova Vuch Ache, your father and I are siblings, Anova Yimech Achi, and you and your mother and I are siblings. So we're siblings. Your father and I are siblings, and your mother and I are siblings. Okay, let's see how we find that. Ivy Kachavim lives with his mother, has two daughters. Good. Then he goes ahead and lives with one of his daughters. Then he's living with one of his daughters. And that daughter has a son. And that daughter has a son. The Ka'amalei Hachi. What does she say? She goes, Anova'at. You and I have the same father. The Akam is our father. It's my father, right? And your father. And I and your mother, I and your mother, we have the same father and same mother. And I and your father have the same mother. There you go. There you go. And finally, you and I are the children of, of the children of siblings. You and your father are the children of siblings. Your mother and I are children. And this is all Behatera. Guys, this can all be a Behatera. This can all be Behatera. Let's see what we have. There's, notice, it's, there's no Goyim here, right? There's no Goyim here. So you have three brothers, Ruven, Shimon, and Levi. And Ruven has two daughters, and Levi has a son. Sh 
Shimon comes along and marries one of Reuven's daughters. And Levi's, Levi's grandson, Levi's grandson comes along and marries the other daughter. Levi's grandson comes along and marries the other daughter of Ruvain. So now, what's the relationship between this and this? You and I, right? You, you and I, we are the children of siblings. We're the children of Ruvain and Shimon, right? We are the children of siblings because you're, you're from Ruvain and I'm from, I'm from Shimon and you're from Levi. So you and I, we're children of Shimon and Levi, right? Right. Your father and I are the children of siblings. Your father and I, your father, Levi, and I are children of siblings. And your mother and I are children of siblings. Your mother and my mother are children of siblings. There you go. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, let's get back to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so we're going to start from the Mishnah. Okay, we did, we did all that. We're going to start from the Mishnah. Hagiyoyrish in his gairu. Hagiyoyrish, that is Megaya. Hagiyoyrish in his gairu. So she was Geyer and Benoha Ima. So her children were Goyim. Now they're Megayer. And now one of them dies and has a child and no children. Is there a Dina Yibum? There's no Dina Yibum. You don't even know if they're, they're brothers. Again, they, they, there's no paternal, by a guy, there is no paternal. We, by Jews, we say Rav Bias Holchem. We go after Rav, and we assume that what that that it's uh, the father is the father of the child. By Goyim, you don't have that. We all know that Yibum is dependent on the paternal side. So over here, you would not have any 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 paternal whatsoever. Says the, but says the Mishnah. I feel a Rasa Shal Rishon Shalei Bikdusha. Even if the first one was was conceived Shalei Bikdusha, Velei Dasa Bikdusha, but he was born a Jew. Now, this is the, the husband is Megai with them. It's not a new husband. The husband is Megai with them. And he was born as a full fledged Jew. Right? It would, you'll not have Yibum. And the Shifcha that was freed and the children with her, you would not have Yibum. Okay? Bnei Yudin. The Bnei Yudin, right? Amsa Ishtachra. They went ahead and freed a slave. And Sharalahu Rav Akhbayakov Laminsiv Nashi Hadadi. He permitted the wives to marry each other. Says Rashi, Nashi Dadadi, Aishis Achiv, they permitted to marry their, their, their wives. They were freed, they were married beforehand, they were freed, they permitted to swap. Falavmishim Yibum, not Yibum. El Afil Bimakim Bonim. I feel even they have children. You were able to swap. The Kasavar in Kurva Lager. There's no kurva by a ger. A ger is kikot and dami. An evid that's meshukher has the din of a ger. So a ger, there is no kurva. There's no, there's no relationship. So therefore, even if they had children, when there's no din of yibum, and even if they didn't die, you'll be able to go ahead and marry each other's other's wives because it's like a new start. That's what Rav Acha did. Amle Rava said Rava to Rav Acha, where Rav Sheshes Aser, Rav Sheshes Aser did. Amalei, who asked him? And he asked it, and I permitted. He asked, and I permitted. Mina avalei, mina aim. Now, now we're going to go through the shaila. Mina avalei, mina aim. When they're paternal brothers, but not maternal, kuli amalei pligi the shari. Even Rav, even Rav, Rav Sheshis would have permitted it, because again, just because they have the same father doesn't mean that they're, they're right. If the mother. So there's no riot. If they have the same father and not the same mother, everyone would agree that they can switch. If they have the same mother, but not the same father, everyone would say it's us, sir. Keep pligi, when's the machloikis between Ravach and Rav Sheshis? Where they have both. 
man the shari, the shari Rav Achel who said it's permitted basa abashadina. We go after the father, and therefore we'll say that what they're not brother or sister. The hub bnei planya kari lahu. We call him bnei the sons of so and so. Reb Sheshes kari leinami bnei planoinus and umene uman the shari basa abashadina. That the hub bnei planya kari lahu. Reb Sheshes kari leinami bnei planoinus. They call bnei planoinus as well, and therefore we would ask them. So this is the, the, the this is the machloikus according to the first lashon. The ikad the amri pligi rav acher by yakov afilu ba'achim in aim. Rav acher by yakov would say even if they had the same mother, he would disagree. Well, my timer gershon is kaya cutting shenola dami. I'm not questioning the lineage. In other words, if they have the same father, there's no a different mother. There is no raya their their, their their brothers at all. That woman could have been with other men. If they have the same mother. Then clearly there's a tzad that what that they're they're, they're brothers, right? They're, they're brothers because they both came from the mother. Says says Rav, and therefore you shouldn't disagree that they, they, you wouldn't be able to swap. Says Rav Acha, even there I say, using the concept of Gershon is guys cutting another dummy and they have no connection to their previous life. I don't care where they came from; they can go ahead and marry. That's that's the second lashon. Now Tanan on Mishnah, Hagiyarish and his Gairu, but never Ima and but Leicholzim Lemiyamin. My timer, love me shum the asiri. In other words, there is an issa. Rashi says, my timer, love me shum the asiri, mishum achva, not because of gerish and gaya. You know why? It's it's asa because they have a relationship. They're brothers. Rashmin masnisan le shaychi b'hu yibum. When there's no, it's not shaych yibum. The kind of kamer le be'eshes ach. In other words, the havamin of the gemara is is the reason they can't they can't do it is because they they, they are brothers, so they can't swap. And that's why that's why it's not shaykh yibum. So if it's not shaykh yibum, they can't swap wives. Kasha on Rav Acha says Eloi. They ain't a betoyrus chlitz of yibum. V'shari la alma. Right. Really, the reason why they can't do it has nothing to do with the fact that they're brothers and it's aishas ach. There is no parsha of yibum said by giyarim. There's no parsha whatsoever. But when it comes to familiar relations and able to remarry, they would be able to marry. Right. They would be able to marry. Anybody in the world, and if they don't know me, sorry, they can even marry each other because Gershon is Kaya Kan Shanela Dami. Fred the Gemara, you're telling me it's Mutter, Vakatani Afilu. Look what the Mishnah says, guys. Hagiyarishin is Gai Rabbanaha Ima, Lechayasim Lemi Abim, because they're not in the Parsha of Chalitza. Now, if you're telling me that there's brotherhood over here and it's Asa for the brotherhood, then the next part of the Mishnah makes sense. Let's continue the Mishnah. It's still usher, despite the fact that what that one of them was bikdusha. It's still usher, but according to you, Rav Acha, that it's speaking its mutter. What's the afilu? The afilu comes to make it make it usher. Doesn't come to make it mutter. That, that's the problem. Like Rav Acha says, the Gemara. But ketoni afilu i amid b'shlema asiri. Also, because of Achva, because they're brothers and sisters, bro- brothers, Hain and Seishas Ach, Hain and Tani Afilu. The Afa gave the Rishon Herasa Shaloi Bikdusha, Vleidasa Bikdusha, Vehasheni Herasa Vleidasa Bikdusha. He was a full fledged Jew. Ukishtei Mois Dami. And they're like two separate women, because why? One was conceived Bikdusha and one wasn't. And Afilu Hachia Siri. It's still Asa. Eli Amit Shari, if you're going to say it's Mutta, and the reason why you can't do Chalitza is because they're not the Torah's Kedushin, but reason the Achva, they're not brother and sister whatsoever. My Afilu, what's the Afilu? The Afilu would have, would have to be a Heta, not an Issa. And for the Gemara, no, it is, it is the Heta. The Afa Gab the Chavayo, they do some Bikdusha, even though what? They were both born Bikdusha. One was conceived as a Goy, but born as a Jew. One was conceived as a Jew and born as a Jew. So I would say, since they're both born Jewish, and if we let them marry, they may come to go ahead and let Ashes Ach marry by a full fledged do. I feel the even so it's mutter. So that would be the way Rav Ach would learn that, that even so it's mutter. It could the army others say, Hachinami Mistabra. We're going to go the other way around, that it's mutter and then prove no, it's also the same Lushin, but we're switching it around. Hachinami Mistabra to that the two brothers can switch wives, the Shari, because there's no, there's no, uh, there's no ach for there whatsoever. The tani afilu i afilu i amit bishleima afilu i amit bishleima shari. They're permitted. Hanu the tani afilu. The afilu the travaili doesn't bekdusha. Even though they were both born as Jews, 
And you may come to go ahead and make a mistake. By right? real Jews, I feel lucky, sorry, because people are going to know, you're not going to go there and say that two uh, uh, can marry each other. Even though both these people were Jewish, I'm not going to go ahead and, and, and make a mistake by a full fledged Jew saying Aishas Ach can marry each other. Of course, we're going to know Gershon is guy, Gershon is not. LE, I mean, I see if you're going to say, like, you want to say it's us, my Afilu, what's the Afilu? He says, come on, I'll tell you about the field list. The Afa Gav, the Risha, and Herasa, Shalai Bikdusha, even though the first one, the conception was Shalai Bikdusha, but he does the Bikdusha, but he was Bikdusha, but Shani, Herasa, but he does the Bikdusha, he can stay in my stomach. I say like they're two separate women because one conceived when she was a guy and one's conceived was a yid. And therefore you might say it's mutter, a filo hachi, a siri, I would still say it's asa. So we have a machloikas between Rav Sheshis and Rav Acha based upon our Mishnah, whether it's permitted to wife swap or not. Wish everyone a great day.